going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you are new hit that red subscribe button don't be a hater your whole life drop a like on the video turn your notifications on and shout out to the MVPs if you see an MVP in the comment section like his comment now MVPs come a little closer I need to talk to y'all at 8,000 subscribers which is only 30 away so if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button right now become a part of the fam let me know in the comment section how do y'all want y'all giveaway one $50 Visa gift card or two $25 gift cards $25 for PlayStation $25 for Xbox I need y'all to let me know in the comment section let's get in today's stub method and today's AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off, plus if you use cold fat, another 5% and finish collection. All right, so first, before we get any further in the video, make sure you are doing your daily moments. If you already got Wander Franco, GG's. But if you don't, go do your quick five or six moments. It's very easy. Make sure on the one home run one, you hit the power swing so you can get that done real fast. First, let's take a look at some of my investments. Jack Peterson's, make sure you go get you some of these. I didn't invest in Cedric Mullins, so I sold them off. Today and tomorrow is the best time to sell all your cards that you are on the edge about going diamond or going gold. So if you got 15 of a certain player and they are at their max, Cedric Mullins is about 400 over the gold quick sale. If you got 15 of them, go ahead sell off seven or eight of them if you got 15 of another card that might go diamond but you're not sure go ahead sell eight or nine of them at their max if they are over 4,000 already 4,200 4,500 matter of fact let me show y'all this Shohei Otani is 54.66 that's over the diamond quick sale 54.66 if you got 12 or 15 of them go ahead and cash out half at 5466 you already making a profit i got him when he was in the low 3000s that's almost 2200 stubs per otani so if you invested in him today is the day to get your stubs put it in your wallet and take your girl out for a nice meal now the big stubs each and every one of you probably got between 50 and 80 thousand stubs sitting in your binder right now what i mean by that is this lamette he's not going to get to that 85 overall He's 1,142. That's over the 1,000 quick sale. So I would take these 13 and I would sell off about 10 of them. Take my 12, 15,000 profit and then I would take five or 6,000 out of that and invest it into somebody else that's still cheap like this Musgrove. I can go grab me three or four more of these Musgroves out of a profit that I already have inside my binder. This one is 1428. I take two of these, cash them out, keep two of them just in case one of these get the plus two or plus three that they need and he will be diamond so 14 28 cash out two of them take a thousand or two thousand profit off of that and another card put them into the musgrove that has a better chance at going up to that five thousand range and then i will have 17 or 18 of these and on roster update date i want y'all to all be on the market with your hands out ready to scoop up anything that don't get upgraded they're going to be cheap and they will get the bump eventually so you're going to be right there just like me to collect them up now what you have to do is invest in this tyler naquin i got 36 of these 78 overall he will be gold when he will be gold it don't really matter but for 205 stubs i got him for like 193 194 after 9 p.m 9 p.m to 10 30 p.m is the best time people are rage selling cards or not paying attention and they are putting cards up for very very cheap go get you some after 9 p.m tyler naquan has been betting 261 on the season with 12 bombs four for four with a home run and three rbis in his last game oh yeah that's enough to get a plus two but if you don't get the plus two with that little bit of stubs and the gold is 1000 quick sale y'all go ahead get y'all some of them you're gonna be making 700 800 stubs every single pop now let's get back into the secret stuff because i know y'all dropped a like on the video right now i'm gonna wait because if you ain't dropped a like and if you're new to the channel you ain't subscribed what is you waiting on right here andrew mccutcheon he guaranteed to go up he has to go up. I got 44 of them. Right now, 105 stubs. 
Why? Because he's a 75 overall. What do you need to put in the exchanges? 76 overalls, you need eight of them. You get these for 105, 106, 102 a pop. You put 800 in there, all the golds are super high right now. So you get these on the roster update, I got 44 of them. On the next roster update, I'll be able to have exchanges. I already got cards for the exchanges. Wait till after 9 p.m. and I'm gonna show y'all what cards it is. Now this Andrew Benintendi. 21 of them, 76 overalls. Right now he's 122. After 9 p.m., around 9.30 to 11 p.m., you can get these for 117, 118, 119. These are 76s. You need eight of them in order to put them in the exchanges. Most of the golds, 83 or higher, are 3,000 and higher stubs. You're making 1,800 to 3,000 stubs every single one that you pull that's worth something. He's 122 right now, still not that bad, but if you wait till later on today, you can get him for even cheaper. Another card is this Nick Ahmed, same thing. Wait till later on tonight. A lot of people don't have social media, a lot of people don't have YouTube, 76 overalls, another 33 of these. With all the investments that I made, getting them at 118 to 121, I'm able to make about 18 to 19 gold packs. Out of that 18, 19 gold packs, I'm gonna have a thousand quick sell, minimum so that'd be 18,000 out of them but your chances at pulling at least an 83 will make my 18,000 minimum turn to about 35 40,000 put 960 into each and every pack let me know what predictions y'all have who do y'all think is gonna go gold who do y'all think is gonna go diamond let's look at my binder real quick 23 of these galagos 2400 23 of them if his price don't go over 2800 tomorrow i'm gonna sell off 10 of them keep 13 and this is what i mean by taking profit out of your binder investing into cards that you think have a better chance at getting that bump and then you have more of them so you will have a bigger profit range he's still under 2000 he's playing good enough to get a bump it might not be this week but in the next two weeks if he goes up to 84 overall he will be guaranteed to get to that 85 my peter lonzo 1200 a pop i got 23 of them He's not performing how he was about a month ago, so I would take this 1200 over the 1000 quick sale, cash out about 15 or 16 of them, keep three or four in case he gets hot again, and I will walk away with my easy 26, 27,000 stubs. So like I said, I'm gonna cash out about 60 to 80,000 stubs, take about 10 or 15,000 of that, invest into some more cars that I think have better potential over the next 24 hours before the price gets all the way skyrocket. And this is exactly what you guys should do. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. MVPs, talk to your boy. Let me know in the comment section. One $25 Visa card or two gift cards. One for PlayStation, one for Xbox. If y'all rocking with me, I got y'all. Let's get it.